Welcome back in Nürburg. This week we leave the GP track behind us and take a tour through the woods on the famous Nordschleife, the hardest track in the world. 20.8 kilometers, 73 turns, 290 meters height difference, up to 18% ascent, one hell of a drive. As one lap is over 8 minutes, the system is a little different than normal. Qualifying is an extra session and I did a very slow 8 minutes and 30 seconds there, just to have a time at all. Problem is, most of the other drivers didn't qualify at all. So we have a strength of field of 1.4k and I'm car number 13, starting from position 2 with 17 cars behind me, which are all faster than me. So absolute no pressure at all. The track temp is 26. The air temp is 26 Celsius. Three laps. Okay Sven, here we go. Three, okay, three, three. and on the way. No pressure at all. A lot of fast cars behind me. Hardest track of the world in front of me. The skippy with cold tires. God, I'm so nervous. I will try to take it really safe, really slow for the fall, first lap. Or better, the whole lap end. Oh, this was already not optimal. Can also not. Not good line. Starts all right. Let's build on it. Jordi behind me is already very unhappy to be stuck behind me, and uh, he's right. Lifting a little bit as long as my tires are cold. And will he go for it? No, he's staying behind me. Again, I will lift here a little bit, but Jordi is also. Okay, not bad for the first few turns. Mark has already nice gap and I'm blocking all behind us <laughs> sorry guys again braking and taking it very carefully normally in the practice I am way faster around here but I really don't want to risk anything main goal is to arrive and there was a little bit of contact. No Daniel behind me. Again lifting, taking it safe. Is this really Daniel behind me? No, it's Trolley again. Taking early. <laughs> He's so. On your left. Clear left. Oh oh oh! What was this? Clear left. Okay, not, not that bad. Jordi was also not sure if we had contact, but okay. Deep breath. No big problem. A little bit of gap to Johnny behind me. No, I think.
Not sure. Okay. Concentrate. Now we go up the hill. I'm on position 3, if I'm not mistaken. So, not bad. But uh, all of the ca other cars are way faster than me. I was just in front because I did a qualifying. So I won't really fight. The main goal here is to just get through the three laps without accidents. Up here it was way easier than I expected. And here the uphill you can hear how little power the Skippy really has. He's really fighting to get up here. Through the Kloster Tal it's up to I think 80% ascent so he's really fighting. Now coming up the Carousel. Famous part. And very much very funny part. Okay, I think I got the names wrong in the beginning. Jordi is in front of me. The gap ahead is now 1.3. 1.3, not that bad. But now this here is the part of the notch life I am really not comfortable with. A lot of blind turns. Everything looking very similar. Yeah, I'm really not fast. This is my slowest part and I uh, was not really fast to begin with. As I said, I'm really slow here and he's coming fast. But uh, with the extreme long straight at the end in the Döttinger Höhe, there, was, there would be no way to stop anyone from overtaking because they can just get the slipstream and shoot So there's no way at fighting it anyway. Jordi is also getting away. But maybe in the first half where I'm a little bit quicker I can get back. Okay, now the kleine Karussell. This means we have already one lap. Now the Galgenkopf and then the unbelievable long straight. Oh, Pepe behind me was already trying to make his move, but now here it's just unbelievable long, especially with a slow car like the Skippy. Now he gets the slit stream and there's no way I can stop him. So go my friend. I could get back into his slip stream and try to retake the position, but honestly he is faster than me, so why should I try it? So I stay behind him, lift and just let him go. If I try to retake the position, uh, it will just be almost sure a collision sooner or later. So, last few turns and then we survive the first lap on the Nordschleife. I'm really happy with that. Okay, and behind me there's already the next one who wants to get past. So. Here, go my friend. And one more. That's okay. But I will not fight, not here. 
Okay, but now this is the part I'm most comfortable with. So now I try to get a better line than in the first lap. Stay with them. And maybe I can gain a position back. Very easy around here. Trying to get a good exit here. I hope I can still use the slipstream. Over the Hocheichen. The Flugplatz. A really fast part here of the track. Getting the slipstream. Hard braking, so need to be careful. Getting again a good exit here. Yeah, I can stay with him here, not bad. Maybe I can pressure him into a mistake. Now through the compression, up to the Adenauer Forst. Again, taking it very careful here. Going over the hills can be really tricky with the Skippy. Now we have long time full throttle, but exit was not really good. few turns, the turn where I had a mistake earlier, so try to take it better this time. Downhill here. Three easy rides. And this is the point, so braking early, taking it really safe. Okay, better. Over the street here. And here it's really important to get a good exit. Uphill, very long full throttle. And as mentioned, the Skippy doesn't really have much power, so going uphill not the easiest part for it. Here again, late apex, trying to get a good exit. Really surprised how little chaos it was up here until here but I um, think it was 18 cars so not really sure what happened behind me at least no one is to see behind me so maybe there was the carnage uh, behind me so not that bad that I would start on position 2 again coming up here Okay, that was just unnecessary. There comes the carousel again. Happy that I'm still sticking with the guys in front. So, uh, maybe... I can get a position more. One little mistake 
and it's so easy here on the Nordschleife to do mistakes. But again, this part, my weak part of the Nordschleife. So I'm not sure if I can stay with them. Ja, Hedwigshöhe, Wippermann, Eschbach, Brünchen. It's just all looking the same and... I don't know. I have really problems here in this part. The gap in front is now 1.3. 1.3 looks more. But I can stay with him. So maybe I'm not the only one who has a little trouble here. Kleine Karussell and then we have almost lap two done. I mean the long straight is not really you can not really count it. Oh it was a little bit too early out of the carousel. Oh again now the long straight, I can get a cup of coffee and he will get into my slipstream. I'm not even sure which position I'm at now. But as I said, just getting the three laps without any problems should be a good position anyway. Right. Okay, now he... Oh! Don't we know him? Right. <laughs> He's back. <laughs> okay. Again, lifting. No way. Come on, Blue Chief. Out of this slipstream, there's nothing you can do. And that was lap two. The guy in front has just done an eight fifteen point one. Halfway home. If you looks good, P7. One more to go. Okay, P7. I uh, thought I was better doing, but okay, I let a lot of them just pass. Seven, uh, still okay. Mm -hmm. I should concentrate more on getting the last lap right. I mean, I w I'm car number 13, so number seven would be not that bad. And it's still one lap to go and one lap on the notch life. Eh? That can help my lot. taking it safe, a little bit lifting, really don't want to risk anything. Here at the Flugplatz I did it without problems, full throttle, but I lost it so many times and really like to take it safe. The same here with the Schwedenkreuz. It is possible full throttle, but I have so much gap in front and behind me, why risk it here? Yeah. 
Ludek Kompression. Full speed up to the Adenauer and again. <laughs> really don't risk it here. I have almost 7 seconds gap behind me. So. But I'm really surprised how much faster they are in front right now. They must really be pushing now in lap 3. While I'm playing it safe in lap 3. Oh, and there he is. That's a problem with pushing on the Nordschleife. Okay, so back position 6. Again, not optimal, but better than in the first lap. Oh, yellow flag. I will break early. Oh, the smoke. But, okay, here's the smoke, but where's the car? Okay, now I was confused and got the apex completely wrong. So there was no car. Maybe. Position 5. Not sure. Okay, now I try to get this one better. Nah, again, not, not good. And up the hill, it's so important to get the apex right. really hard how he's struggling and fighting and I need to downshift a little bit yeah, he's fighting and that's here in the turn I will downshift For the last time, coming up the carousel. up there could be good for me But I have to say, driving the Skippy here on the Nordschleife, it's just a fantastic combination. It's so much fun. And as this is my first really race here on the Nordschleife, it's not bad to have such a slow car. As there are so many turns to learn here. It's really a big advantage to do it with a slower car the first time. And I'm still not sure if I'm position 5 or 6. Oh, and in my mirror there's already the next one coming. Here on my weak part. Shouldn't take it too safe for the last kilometers.
Through the mini carousel. And then the long straight. And I don't see the car in the mirror. So should be no problem this time. Okay. Just bringing it home now. Position, I think, five. No accidents. I'm really surprised how well this went. With such a high strength of field. High. In comparison to the last races, at least. Should give good championship points. So I'm more than happy with my position number five. I was really expecting to be taken out in the first turns, which would have been really a shame as I only have one race per week in my career mode. I was really afraid of something like this. And save through the last turns. Oh, yellow flag. And I'm position. P5, there we go, it's over. P5. Very nice. Okay, that was this was really a lot of fun. Not really a race as I let most of them just go, but it was a lot of fun. And when you just have one race to bring it home, you drive way safer than normal. So this was week 11 and race number 4 in my career, with 70 championship points, my best result so far. Next week is already the season finale in Brands Hatch and after that it will be time to decide how to proceed next season. So thanks for watching, stay tuned and until next time.